We're gonna make some bubbles. Making huge bubbles like this is actually pretty easy. I got this recipe from the channel Night Hockey and Light. He has an awesome tutorial on how to make these bubbles as well. All you need is dishwashing liquid, guar gum, and baking soda. The guar gum you probably have to order online because it's not that easy to find in normal stores. Be sure to get a dishwashing liquid with as few additives as possible. Mix the guar gum with the dishwashing liquid and make sure you get all the lumps out. Then add 11 liters of water. Use distilled water or rain water. Make sure that you don't have any small particles in it. Don't use tap water because it has too many contaminants in it. Then just add the baking powder and stir it around. Again, if you haven't seen Night Hawking Light's YouTube channel, you definitely missed something. Go there and subscribe. It's an awesome channel. To make the really big bubbles, you need something to hold the bubble mixture. Cotton rope is excellent for this. I used some 6mm rope and tied it in between two fishing poles. Then I used a longer piece of string and made a V shape and then attached some weight at the bottom. Now when you try and make a bubble, make sure that the whole rope is saturated and then keep the two ends of the fishing rods together until you get to a proper height. Then separate the two and let the air make the bubble for you. If you keep the opening open for too long, the bubble is eventually going to pop. But if you manage to close the loop in time, you can create these massive bubbles that just seem to defy gravity and just float along really slowly. The less sun there is and the more humid the air is, the longer the bubbles are going to float before they pop. A much simpler contraption is just take a piece of string and then wrap it into a circle and then use some steel wire to make a little loop thingy. Cool.